Hello friends, this video on integrals part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Now let's learn integral of some particular kind of functions. If you have some integral of this form, d by dx of x square minus a square, that value is 1 by 2a log x minus a by x plus a. You will have integral of this form a square minus a square that will be same thing instead of uh, x minus a it'll a plus x and it's a minus x this is nothing but minus of this actually if you see so if you learn one of this that is enough for you d by dx of x square plus a square that is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse x by a d by dx of root x square minus a square that is log of x plus root x square minus a square d by dx of root a square minus a square that is sine inverse x by a plus c and d by dx of root of x square plus a square that is log of x plus root x square plus a square. The first question is why should we learn this? The reason we are doing this is because See, not all the integrals which we deal in real life are sine inverse x or cos inverse x. Not all are like this, right? And not all of these kind of integrals we have is you know, uh, substitutable or we can use trigonometric formulas. There are certain integrals which are complex to solve. And these are the common integrals we get. See, these actually will we'll prove all these things by using substitution and uh, other methods also. But these are very common integrals we use because x square minus a square, a square minus x square, x square plus a square, root x square minus a square, root a square minus x square, and root x square plus a square. All these are very, very common integral. So if you see, 3 are without root and 3 are with root x square a plus a square if you see here and then a square minus x square and x square minus a square. So these are three pairs or you can say six uh, form of common integrals we have we generally use in our uh, mathematical uh, problem solving. So it's better to learn the value of this that makes our life easy in a way that we can solve these questions much easier much faster. So let's derive all these things but before deriving such kind of um, proofs let me tell you one thing so there is the one thing that we have to keep in mind and that is so if you have seen there were three pairs actually first pair was of this form root x square plus a square correct the second pair was of this form x square minus a square and third was of this form a square minus x square only three forms you have now in this first form if you see if in this first form we have to substitute x by what so we have three options just learn three options x is equal to either a tan theta a sec theta or a sin theta Please note, we'll substitute by one of these only, sin, sec and tan. So if you take this guy as sin theta, if you get this guy as take sin theta, so what will happen? A square sin square theta plus A square, that is A square common, I'll write here, I'll make a rough note here actually. I'll put A x is equal to A sin theta in first case. So this guy will become A square sin square theta plus a square right so we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sin square theta minus 1 is equal to cos square theta right so let me write here actually sin square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1 we know that 6 square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 correct so if you put x equal to a sin theta, this comes out to be sin square theta plus 1. Sin square theta plus 1, we don't have any formula. So x equal to a sin theta is not possible in this. Or it is not good to put x equal to a sin theta in this case. 
The second is a sec theta. So let's put a sec theta in the first case only. So this becomes a square sec square theta plus a square. That is a square into sec square theta plus 1. Sec square theta plus 1 is what? Nothing is because sec square plus 1 is nothing because sec square minus 1 is tan square. So x equal to a sec theta is also not used in this. Let's try x equal to a tan theta. If you try tan theta, this becomes a square tan square theta plus a square. Tan square theta plus 1 we know is nothing but sec square theta. Correct? So tan theta we can use here. So if you use tan theta in this case, will we'll, I'll write here actually. In this case, I'll write x is equal to a tan theta. If I use x equal to a tan theta, my whole equation becomes root of this. That is nothing but root of tan square theta plus 1. And what is tan square theta plus 1? Sec square theta. And that is nothing but a sec theta. So if you see what happened, this guy became a sec theta, x becomes, I mean x is equal to a tan theta if you say, or let's put this y. So if x is equal to a, a tan theta, my y becomes a sec theta, which is easy to integrate. Similarly, in such this, same, this kind of cases, if you see x, x square minus a square, in this kind of cases, if I again put x is equal to, let's suppose sine theta, right? So this becomes a square sine square theta minus 1. So if you say sine square th theta minus 1, plus sine square theta minus 1, if you say the minus root cos square theta, I'll show you. If you put x is equal to, if you put x is equal to sine theta, so this becomes root of sine square theta minus 1 a common and sine square theta minus 1 is nothing but minus cos square theta. So minus comes it becomes complex so we will not take that. So I will take what I will take let me try sec theta now. If you take sec theta so this becomes a root sec square theta minus 1 sec square theta minus 1 is nothing but plus tan square theta, right? This is plus root of tan square theta and that is nothing but a tan theta. So if you put x is equal to a sec theta, my y comes out to be a tan theta. Correct. Similarly, in this kind of cases, a square minus x square, if you see, it is other way around subtraction of this. So if you take x is equal to a sin theta, my y will come out to be a cos theta. So if you see here, what we have done was, we observed that if my equation is of the form root x square plus a square, I take x equal to a tan theta. Why? Because see y comes out to be simple plus if you see dx or dy, everything is simple actually, right? So my goal is very simple, just remember this sin sec or tan we will replace by either of these values only okay and then if x y is equal to x square plus a square form it is plus you use tan theta if it is minus form then you have i'll write here see if i have tan theta option i have sec theta and I have sine theta. Only three options I have. Right? And why I will tell you why also. Why not cos theta, cos sec theta and cos tell that. I have three options. If I have plus, I will use tan theta. Gone. If I have minus, I have either option of sec theta and sine theta. So there you can try also if you put in this case sine theta it comes out to be minus cos theta. Minus cos theta is not advisable. So if it is x square minus a square form, we will use sec theta. If it is a square minus x square, we will use sin theta. The reason why we use these only because if you say, if my, let's suppose t is equal to tan theta, if you are putting, let's suppose, right? 
So dt in this case will be a6 square theta d theta. In this case dt will be a sec theta tan theta d theta. I am putting a a sec theta a tan theta and a sin theta. In this case dt will be, so there is a sin theta will become a cos theta. If we use other way around, for example, if you use t is equal to cos theta, dt will be what? Minus sin theta d theta. So in other, if you see others, we call it cosic, if you take the minus sign comes and in case we have root and all this, minus is avoidable. So we don't use. We generally use tan sec or sine because dt also doesn't have minus and with either of these, it is easily converted to a simpler form. Correct? This is clear. So if you have root x square plus a square here plus, use tan theta only. If you have minus, use either sec theta or sin theta depending on which is the correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.